Today's video is about particle interactions and is based on the 2015 AQA AS level specification. So interactions between particles are caused by a particle exchange. When two particles interact, something happens to a particle to let it know that the other one is existing. Repulsion and attraction can be explained by the bowling ball. As you can see, uh, if someone throws a bowling ball, they're going to be pushed backwards. And uh, whoever catches the bowling ball is also going to be pushed backwards. So the bowling ball is essentially the concept of an exchange particle. And the uh, two, let's say, humans on the little boats, they're examples of particles. And uh, attraction can be explained by the boomerang example. So the boomerang in this case is the exchange particle. So uh, one particle will throw the boomerang um, facing the other direction. He'll throw the boomerang, which pulls him back and the other one will catch it, which will throw him back. These exchange particles are called gauge bosons, which are virtual particles. There are four fundamental forces in nature. Gravity's crap, so no one's really bothered about it, but here are the rest and their corresponding gauge boson. As we learned from the classification video, um, the strong force affects only hadrons, and uh, the weak force affects everything. But uh, as you may have uh, studied in chemistry, um, the electromagnetic interaction also exists, um, and it exists between charged particles. That's the um, the interaction between electrons and protons in an atom. Uh, so the gauge boson for the electromagnetic is a virtual photon. For the weak force, it's a weak boson, weak plus and weak minus. And for the strong force, the boson is actually um, pions. So the pions are the exchange particle in a strong interaction. The W plus and W minus are the exchange particle um, in weak interactions, and the virtual photon are the gauge bosons in the electromagnetic um, interaction. The W bosons have a ridiculous mass. It's about 100 times that of a proton. Not a photon, but a proton, which then results in a very short range. Because of this ridiculous mass, creating a W boson uses so much energy, it can only exist for a short amount of time, and as a result, can't travel that far. And vice versa is the case with photons, which have absolutely no mass, and so as a result we get an infrared range and a really, really long time of existence. Let's move into the nitty gritty stuff, and that is Feynman diagrams. Uh, these were created by a gentleman called Richard Feynman, known as one of the greatest physicists of all time. Richard Feynman has a plethora of uh, volumes of physics books. Um, if you've got no life, like me, then uh, you'll find them very, very interesting. I would recommend giving them a read. But anyways, so this guy, he created uh, these diagrams which help better display particle interactions, although he did have a couple of rules. Incoming particles start at the bottom of a diagram and they travel upwards. Time is represented upwards, so yeah. Barons and leptons have to stay on their own sides, they can't cross sides. Charges on both sides must balance. Uh, gauge bosons are represented by wiggly lines and yes, this is the proper technical term. You can say wiggly line in your exam. <laughs> And all standard particles are represented by straight lines. So, let's have a look at a couple examples. And these are the main examples you're going to need to know. So first of all, let's look at electromagnetic repulsion between electrons. So as you can see, um, there are arrows signifying the direction of the electrons. And as you go further in time, the electrons are moving closer together. But once they hit that virtual photon, once that virtual photon tells both of the electrons that each of them exists, they're like, whoa, 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 I want no part of you, and obviously uh, if a particle has the same charge, then it's just going to repel each other, as you can see. Um, also, as you can see, the exchange particle is represented by, in fact, a wiggly line, and uh, time moves upwards. Uh, same thing with positrons as well, or protons. Any, any, any um, particle with the same charge can represent electromagnetic repulsion. So, in electron capture, a proton uh, interacts with an electron, and as you can see, it obeys the whole, you know, baryons on the on one side and leptons on the one side, the protons and neutrons are on the left side, the electron, electron, anti uh, sorry, electron and electron neutrino are on the right side. But this isn't the electromagnetic interaction. As you can see, there are uh, neutrally charged particles in there. So this is an example of the weak interaction. As a result, we have a uh, W W plus boson. The reason it's W plus is because, as you can see, the arrow is coming off the proton is going towards the electron side, the proton um, conserves its whole plus charge, and so as a result, you've got a W plus boson. And again, arrows on each of the particles to show which direction they're going, and of course, time moves upwards. 
The last one is beta minus and beta plus decay. Obviously, there's two of them, so but they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, so we'll start off with beta minus. Uh, as you can see, a neutron turns into a proton. However, the neutron needs to conserve a minus charge because the electron is negatively charged. So you've got a W minus boson, which then kicks off into an electron and anti-electron neutrino. And the, pretty much the opposite thing would be to plus decay. A proton conserving its W plus charge uh, turns into an electron and a, uh, sorry, turns into a positron and a electron neutrino and turns into a neutron. Baryons on one side, leptons on one side. It's, it's complicated business, but it's also simple business once you memorize the rules. So that's it for this video on interactions. Hopefully you learned quite a bit from this video. If you have, I would appreciate a like, comment, and of course, subscribe for the future lectures. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.